Welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. Today is actually part two of the Wall Eversharp 50s collection uh, review that I did a few weeks ago. Uh, for those of you who remember, and those of you who don't know, um, this is the box that the pen actually comes in. When I did the first review, uh, it was a little antsy and I didn't want to wait for the box. He, um, Sid had actually previewed this pen uh, at the LA Pen Show and it did so well that he sold out of all the boxes that you know, he had ordered originally. So I wanted the pen and he was gracious enough to say, you know what, I'll send you the pen and everything now and I'll send you the box at a later date when they do come in and I won't charge you for the extra shipping, which was very nice. Uh, and at the time he had no idea I was going to do any kind of review or anything like that. So this is the box that you get. Um, it, it's styled more like one of the, uh, I guess, the Whitman candy boxes. I'd love to know what dashboard this is from. I'll back this up a little bit. It's kind of neat. Radio on the sides. I mean, there was definitely some thought put into it. Um, the flap is magnetic. So that it keeps it shut. And when you open it up, it gives a nice presentation. Uh, inside is this, the same picture that was on the outside. And remember, here's the uh, sure that gives you all the details about the company again. Registration card, so you can go online and register the pen. Car, the way it sits inside, uh, like it's sitting <laughs> on the dash on a racetrack. It's nice, very nostalgic. Uh, really uh, continues the look of the pen, you know, right through. It's nice. Each car matches the color of the pen that you get. I got the menthol green. And it comes in this case, which I unsealed on this side. All right. So this portion was just to show you the box that you actually do get it in and, and you know, the nice presentation that it comes with. Um, when I ordered it, uh, you know, I it, it was at a later time that I discussed the nib that it came with, which is the fine to medium flex rhodium plated stainless steel. Great nib. You all remember it. If you want to see the full review on it, you can go back. Um, but when Sid emailed me and said, I'm sending you the box, I said, originally you told me that eventually we'd be able to upgrade nibs if we wanted to at the time of ordering or get a nib later on. So I ordered a nib. I ordered the um, medium semi-flex gold-plated ceramic coated stainless steel nib. This is the nib that comes uh, on the next models up. Um, you can go on the site and go through them all. I don't remember them offhand. Um, and you can see it screws right in. So I'm going to pause this, come right back, and we're going to swap nibs. I'll show you how to disassemble this again and actually how to take the nib out and put this new one in. There is a collar on here that will show you how to remove. It's very simple. Again, super user-friendly pen. Be right back. We're back. I actually had to go back and make sure I knew what kind of ink I put in this because I'm not going to change the ink out. Um, we'll just continue on with the uh, Noodler's Black Swan in English Roses because it gives such great shading. Um, before I swap it, uh, I'll just do a little, a quick writing thing again, just so you can listen to the nib and, and we'll see if there's any difference in, in the sounds that it makes or how it acts. Still skip free. No railroading. We will get this to railroad today. I believe. We can always try again. <laughs> but you can see that this nib is, is really nice and smooth. You know, I mean I'm writing I can write fairly fast and still get that, that same flex in it without, you know, I'm not really 
pushing it. I don't want to try and spring it. I mean, even though it's stainless steel, it, it's it's a difficult one to spring. But of course, you can always spring them, just like you can always railroad them. Um, okay, well, you get the idea. Um, let's get inky, and I'm going to uh, show you exactly how to take this apart. Um, you want to take a cloth or just a piece of paper towel, generally speaking. Now, if you do this, you, you know, and you swap them out, you're not going to get all inky because you're going to clean the pen out and, and not have the feed saturated like with ink. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a clean change. All right. You're just going to grab it at the base right here, but in the paper towel. Um, and it is counterclockwise. So you're going this way with it. And, and you'll feel it breaks right for you, and it, it, you'll unscrew it. it. comes right out. And this is your nib unit, which is the same as the one that's in here without the collar. This collar is what you're going to take off. Um, again, holding at the shoulders. You don't want to, you know, touch the tines if you can help it. And this, you know, and get them unaligned. You know what? Just using your fingernails again and just pull and you'll see it just comes straight down and slides right off and you're going to save it. Just remember that when you put it back on, the space goes towards the front. All right. Space towards the front. Up. A little snug. Then you're just using your fingernails, base, base, and then onto the metal. Squeeze it up. And it's a little tight, but then again, it wasn't put on there. Oh, there it goes. Popped right on. See how it's nice and flush up against? There you go. And while we're here, I guess he's a, a good shot of the nib. Very nice same feed and uh, again when disassembling the pen the back just comes right off and your uh, piston slides out sorry I had this down low close because we were writing but and you can see straight through and that's it I mean like I said this pen is great that you can disassemble it and, and clean every nook and cranny of it um, the threads are inside that link up, line up to this. You're simply going to just redo it, holding shoulders. Uh, sorry, top and bottom here. And don't, you know, you don't need to over tighten it. It's, it's going to come to a nice positive stop. In, pressure fit, and that's it. Top goes back on. Now, the feed is completely dry, so to be fair, we'll just give it a quick re-ink so that it's saturated, because obviously this one was. <laughs> and we'll see how it does. All right. Empty. Says, remember what? Stop and cap the ink. Okay. Uh, let's get a rag and wipe this off. Always looks worse than it is. It cleans up beautifully every time. I always just put a little paper towel right on the edge there, and it, it absorbs it right off. I mean, it's stainless steel parts, so. Really easy. Okay, put the back on, let's post it, I actually, I actually like writing with this post-it, like I said, this, it gets, has such a nostalgic look to it, you know, really, uh, it's beautiful, love the way he got that design back, 100%, really nice, all right, um, let's stick with the same sheet for a little bit. And see how it does.
And I'll give you a quick close up again of the nib. Sorry about the shake. <laughs> Happens. Oh, it's definitely quieter. Okay. That must have just been when it made that mark before it must have been me. And I didn't I haven't cleaned this uh this nibber feed either. I didn't even think about that, so we'll see. Hmm. It's definitely quieter. It's uh it's it's smoother. It's definitely got a different feel. Um But the wetness, I would say, is about the same. I should have done a wetness test up here to see. That, I'm sorry about it. And I did mean to do that. But this lays down a really nice patch. It's, and it's pretty wet. I, I would say it's, it's just as wet and, and as equal to the other one. But definitely smoother. We got a railroad. Again, I didn't clean it or anything, so this is just straight out of the bag. A little railroad. But the nib itself, you can see, is it's it's definitely uh, you know you can listen to it and it's quieter. It's got a different feel to it. Railroad. So, I want to thank everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this re-review, thank you, a re-review of Wall Eversharp with the upgraded NIM. One last look, and I hope you all have a happy fountain pen day. Thanks for watching.